everyone, let's play! Kingdom. Charlotte will stomp you and they'll leave it in facet. Strength, rolling ability, risk taking, yeah. mind games. No other women's competitor has been so decorated so hey, easily as it You've been in the rope, WWE man. Hall of Fame. And so now send another ref to take the role. Just hasn't experienced the I'll go make coffee and you watch his entrance. Or you can scroll it and skip it. The most intimidating and imposing competitor in WWE history. Umber Tucker. Mean Mark Calloway. Shane McCool's husband. Streak ever have been slain. Legends destroyed. Listen to the lesser Kane, Orton, Edge, Michaels, Triple H, Cena. Even the showcase of immortals is overcome by darkness. The Phenom's opponent that the end is near on the grandest stage. Ten hours later. Okay. Euphoric, you can take off your coat and fedora. You alone, you can uh, whatever. Surreal moment the hairs on my neck begin to grow. Milady, Milady, Milady. Tip your fedora. Tip fedora. Yee, boy. What a yee yee ass haircut. The Undertaker's opponent better get ready. He's about to meet his maker. But he and Charlotte have like cutaway scenes when they take off their coats. <laughs> Took many years to make them. Uh, I mean, not many years to make these specific animations, but many years have passed since the games actually got tech to have removable clothing. And even then, they have to cut away the camera and have a separate prop for the removable clothing model and two models one with the overcoat and the one without for the character. Here we go, no DQ match. You still have to win by pinfall or submission in the ring. <laughs> for the rest of the rules. Although flag right out the window in this one. The queen setting up. Whee! Knee drop hits the mark. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Uh-oh, position in. Measuring. In oh, knee drop. Woo! Woo! Ah, jeez. The third knee drop. This could do it. Streak? No, he pops the shoulder before three. He got close there. It could be do or die time. Look out. Cross body to the floor. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. 
Corey, what are the perils of this match that superstars must be concerned with? Now, this is the type of setting where you must be aware of outside interference because when it's no disqualification, it's not considered interference. It's legal. The match can change in an instant when another individual who is not officially part of the match makes their presence felt. That's when a competitor needs to utilize the anything go stipulation to their benefit and eliminate the mismatch. Hoist it up. And a suplex. Suplex. Vertical. Suplex. So play it's the food you, you eat. Ah. Way slam. He's lighting him up. To so just to be knocked down. Shot with the spear. Your eyes like a knee drop. You know, sold it. Why? Running leg drop. Thrown back in under the ropes. The dead man has decided. Oh, no. This ends now. Why you driver? Taker's about to end another fight. I can't believe what we just saw. An unfamiliar look of shock from The Undertaker. He thought that was it. How are they going to hear after this match? Charlotte Cobble. Is it enough? And he kicks out of the pen and one. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. I lost for Yorick. I knew him for a job. I thought I would be the jest of what I can fancy. want that I do not want that oh, a stop. Oh, he's looking to completely render this leg useless a picture perfect leg snap from Charlotte stirring back to his feet but he might not know where he is eat the feet it is pitch black oh, in here no. are you serious no way I'm not serious, my name is Rina. Gary Oldman is serious. Was. I wonder who played him in the new game. He's taking this to the floor now. He's undertaking this to the the, no. He's taking match. it to the under. That, that's the correct. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing and it could cost him. Into the ring now. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. And a well executed move we just saw there. Looking a little out of it up on that turnbuckle. Oh, this could very no. be the beginning of the. Oh, end. fuck. Oh. She He's hit her back at the apron. This looks brutal. Series of brutalizing shops. He's looking for an implement of destruction under the ring. The equalizer at hand, and he's just goading his opponent to make the first move. Ooh. Improving a bit slippery for them there. And there was some force on that move. We are witnessing a malicious string of attacks right now. Able to reverse. It's been a hard-hitting affair here tonight. These competitors are going to have trouble walking on their own after this one. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. And he has to start protecting himself from attacks to that area. The dead man facing some danger. Flair is making the opposition bow down. Got the leg and drops the elbow.
What are we about to see? Oh, knee right to the hamstring. Walking his oh, left leg. A hamstring. A handstand into the knee drop. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. And he might have found a focal point with that leg. He reverses it. Undertaker reversing the momentum on him. If Undertaker was looking for a chance to turn this around, this could be it. How you stop your opponent. Charlotte turning the tide to her favor. You may be seeing a dead man walk. Table? No, don't want to bring it. It's upper. And he's undertaker, so you should be upper giver. What they're looking for here. You know, the opposite. Taking a big risk here by bringing the table into the action. This fight is going down right in front of our faces. More up close and personal than I'd like to be. It's a recipe for cracked ribs. And we see him take yet another shot to the body. Clearly thinking a steel chair is what's needed right about now. Outside the ring now, he has no need to rush. Ah, oh, took off the... Uh... The hood of the announcement. Sad intentions in mind here. Come on, Byron, get in front of me. No. And he slides him back to the mat. Okay. This weird thing is what Andrade does. I need to upload this video, like make a pause at recording, ignore weird sounds that's my cat yelling. I fed him, I gave him fresh water, he just wants attention and he'll get it. But after I'm done doing my stuff, woo! And Spanish fly! Yeah, you gotta be kidding me! Charlotte just rubbing it in now. The Undertaker scoops him up! On the chair! No, near the chair, whatever. Seeing a little bit of shock on the Undertaker's <laughs> face. <laughs> He's oh, he hit it. But not this one. Oh, good night. Oh, no. Choke slam. Shoulder shoots up before two. How this match is still going on defies all reasoning. And there's the cover. Pure instinct. 
She never hits with this. some more punishment. Oh my god, the table has been set ablaze. That's not a table, it's a barbecue. Put into the corner now, and she finds it. In. Oh, what power. Third one. Yeah, big sauce. And guys, we're seeing one of those rare opponents that can take everything the Undertaker dishes out. Let's see if the dead man can put that final nail in the coffin. Taking this to the floor. Face first into the chair. And these attacks are spelling nothing but trouble. These are the kinds of attacks that can put a superstar on. on the shelf for a long time. He saw that one coming. Turning the tables there. Flair is falling behind now, and nothing can stop the dead man. He gets back into the ring. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's good. <laughs> Thanks, Captain Obvious. Uh, I, I understand commentary should tell us what happens, but like. Taker has him up. Here we go. That's a fourth? Top of the queen. Cover! Kick out it! Clearly not expecting this. Really? The bloodline! Why do you think Saxton? This is the line! Look out! Why is Bimi? stage in this matchup and this audience is fully aware of it. Yeah, they know another turning point can come at any um, second. And that can be the instant that Oh my god. I think we broke the game. The queen now going up. Lift off. stop anybody something's about to go either very wrong or very right from the top oh, drop. Oh, a piercing elbow takes a throw the table because fuck it stepping into the figure four mm. can she complete the bridge yeah it is submission lock oh no somehow Successfully so! Yeah, but the damage has been done. Flashing down hard. And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. Quick return to the ring. Here's the cover! This is the dumbest thing ever. Okay, such a perfect match, and in the end, the goddamn bloodline running up and screwing everything. Oh, just deadlifting their opponent, tossing them aside. Powerless possession of the end right now. I have no idea why she still isn't bleeding. Stepping through. 
Here's the figure four. Yeah, now she's got to bridge into the figure eight. If she can do it, she's going to put this one away. And there it is. Figure eight applied. So, yeah. Um... Next time I play, I'll, I'll try to do it without character changing, okay? It's not going to match regardless. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you later. It was a cool how she uh, slammed him into the... Art. Too much in the end. Guys, let's not be biased here. They won fair and square. <sighs> fair and little outside help does not feel like it fits the bill. He didn't help me. He screwed my uh, everything. Oh. Charlotte Flair has her trapped. Oh! The shoulders. Oh, uh -oh. no. Backpack stunner. Uh oh, way too. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Woo! To go to school. Bigger four. And the tap out isn't going to do anything. This is just torturous now. Flair lining her up. Get the Queen's throne ready. Bye bye. See you later. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you believe that you can out, follow my Patreon and keep supporting Ukraine. There are some horrible, horrible news of war crimes performed by Russians releasing every single day, and it just only gets worse and worse. It really screws with your mind and everything. And no um, we, we finished it. We need for a start. As I said, it's very nervous and very wrecking and uh, destroying your soul. So please don't watch uh, footage of war crimes. Just read reports if you can stomach that. And I'd rather donate to come back alive than watch another confession of Russian soldier about what they do with children. Goodbye.